magnitude and direction to Cartesian form. F is 108 pounds at 40 degrees above the negative y-axis. Find F in Cartesian form. We want to know what Fx and Fy are such that we can write F is Fxi plus Fyj. We're going to do this in two different ways. The first way we're going to do this is by actually drawing the triangle. F is 108 pounds. This is going to be 108 times cosine of 40. And the vertical piece is 108 times sine of 40. At this point, we have to use our looking at the graph to figure out how that relates to Fx and Fy. This is the origin. So this, Fx, is minus 108 cosine 40, or 82.7. Fy is the vertical component. In drawing the triangle, you're actually going to look at which way you go. This is go, F is going to the left and up. That would be in the negative I direction and the positive J direction. So that F is minus 82.7I plus 69.4J pounds. Alternately, it is possible to always say Fx is the magnitude of F times cosine theta, and Fy is the magnitude of F times sine theta. This is somewhat easy if you're dealing with a vector that's in the first quadrant. If this is theta, then Fx is clearly F cosine theta, and Fy is F sine theta. The trick is you have to measure theta from the positive x-axis. So the formulas are all well and good as long as you know that in our case, with f in the second quadrant, theta has to be 140 degrees. 90 plus 50, or 180 minus 40. Once you do that, you can say fx is 108 times cosine of 140, and fy is 108 sine 40, sine 140. If you write theta always from the positive x-axis, the sines will take care of themselves, and this is minus 82.7i and 69.4 in the J direction. So F is Fx times I plus Fy times J. F is minus 82.7I plus 69.4J. And again, don't forget your units. Either way, you end up with entirely the same answers. It's just a question of whether you'd rather remember the formula or draw a triangle. It's up to you.